Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to Wrestling Gap. Hello. We are here. It's Wednesday night. It's the 13th. My birthday is in two months from today. Ooh, two months from today. I'll be 26. Wise. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> we're here for uh, NXT, whatever that's called. Just called NXT, huh? Mm -hmm. And Wednesday night, Dynamite, mm -hmm. which is AEW's brand. Yeah. It's undisputed Era starting over there. But after this weekend's pay-per-view... Kind of excited to see this week coming. For AEW stuff? For AEW. Yeah, there was only a pay-per-view for AEW stuff. Yeah. It was called Full Gear. It was their last pay-per-view of this year. And it looks like they're going to do four pay-per-views a year. Ooh. All in and all out. One's on Memorial Day weekend. That's yeah. Saturday. And the other one's on Labor Day. So cool. we just got to figure out how to fit two other pay-per-views in there. Wow. On, on those days. Well, we've got Harry in the chat with us. Hey, Harry. Hey, bud. Nice to see you back with us. What, what? Said, long time no see. Totally. Did you happen to get any watch time or highlights of AEW on Saturday? We uh, we did the AEW show. It was pretty exciting. That John Moxley packed episode or match or whatever you want to call it. You mean um? Or was it not pack? It was Omega. Can you Omega? Omega. Mm hmm. <laughs> That was awesome. Oh, I guess some cry people cry. are like, well, what are they doing with Moxon? Are they just going to make him a hardcore guy and they're not going to use him in normal matches? I guess that's kind of the backlash they got from it. Oh, really? Because they haven't used him as just a normal. Oh. So, how, just used like, him how as are a they going to do that? Right now, they're starting off with the MJF when he turned on Cody. Yeah, they're giving some highlights of what Cody happened. Cody got busted wide oh, open. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he did. He uh, So, they have their ring set up kind of old school where they have the actual ramp come right straight down to the ring. Like WCW. And it's kind of like, it was kind of diamond plated or something. Yeah. And Cody, like, jumped out of the ring to hit Chris Jericho. And he, when he fell, he kind of landed on his face. And he landed on his face and just kind of cut it open. Oh, yeah. It so, I mean, it was just this, like, really, like, weird, like, face, like, a frowny face or whatever on there. And it just bled. <laughs> but it was all in his eye and stuff like that. And, um, anyways. But he didn't really win or lose. Yeah, oh, Not yeah, he, he did, because Jericho put him in the walls of Jericho. And then but he his, didn't tap out. Yeah, but his ring partner threw in the towel, which counts. Okay, so his counts. ring partner that turned on him threw in the towel well, for we him. Well, turn on him if we so a recap. So that means that, what, so now they're going to say that because of that, he's never going to try to get a title, which I think is kind of dumb. No, now they will let him. Look, at we got the Dark Order and the Jurassic Express later. Ooh. Oops. Jungle Boy. Anyway. And whoever the other kid is. The other guy. The other guy. The oh, we got guy. Nyla Rose in action. We haven't seen her in action and since... Did she, her reprimand? Yeah, well, since she wrestled for the title against Riho. Yeah, and then she was mean to fans. But she, that was reprimand. before. Well, maybe that's why she didn't we win. We got Paige. And that's that's a rematch. Nyla didn't <laughs> we'll win. We'll get redemption. We got yeah. the SCU versus Jericho and Guevara. That could be good. Aren't they, like, part of their group? <laughs> They no, seem like they should that's be. That's Ortiz. <laughs> Santana and Ortiz. They're kind of jerks. So the you inner think circle. That they would be, right? So oh, but John this is Moxley. Up next. So it says John Moxley's in action, but I heard he was just doing a segment. Maybe he is. So maybe he's going to talk. Well, it says up uh, in action. In action up next. But that doesn't necessarily mean he's going to have a, a wrestling match. What kind of action is he going to do to stand? Like he's he's a going dance to like, go out there and swing his weird bat around and maybe. stuff. Look at Omega's eye. So, Omega is not cleared, by the way, for fighting. That's why he's not going to be around tonight. He got his ass handed to him. He's not medically cleared. But Moxley got beat, too. Look at their backs. That's disgusting. It's funny. I tilled the neighbor's uh, little field out there, you know? <laughs> and I felt like that. I couldn't imagine if that actually you happened felt to like me. felt like that? Yeah. Like, for like two days, I didn't want to move. I was just like, ugh, a tiller beat me up. That's funny. So Harry says that he saw the Omega and Moxley fight, but that was it. Yeah, the whole pay-per-view so was pretty damn good, So though. you saw the best part. <laughs> just kidding. That was, no, was it the best? I mean, it was the most exciting, but was it the best? There was a lot of good matches. I said, I'm kidding. Got it, keep going. But, you know, hey. 
<laughs> there was a lot of good matches. Most of it was pretty good. I'm trying to think if there was any I didn't like. I didn't like the um, the f girl title match, the women's title match. Wasn't a fan of that Sakura. Yeah. And Riho. Um, hopefully they start pushing that a little harder and maybe something that's a little bit more exciting. Yeah, true. I mean, I don't... I, I, that was like a retirement match for Japan or something. That's kind of what it reminded me of. <laughs> for Sakura? Yeah, or she's something. Like 50. <laughs> she's not 50, Delisa. She's 47. She's only 43. <laughs> <laughs> she's 43. She's old. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so Leo Rush is wrestling over on NXT against Guerrero. Is that what that guy's name was? I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah. So he's back, and he'll be showing up on certain ones, including this Tuesday. Same yeah, this month. next Tuesday, but it's going to be periodic. He's yeah, he's not, not going like to be on every single guy one. On yeah. there or anything. He's not going to be wrestling or anything like that. It's just to be on the backstage stuff. For right now. now, it just opens a door, right. and that's all people wanted to see was a little peek. Right. And maybe it'll get him excited to wrestle. I don't know, but that guy's like out in the audience taking his clothes off for well, people. At least he took his pants off, you know. Uh, that's on NXT. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> John Moxley still has his pants off. So John Moxley has an opponent. It looks like a some, guy from a Jean Claude guy? Van Damme movie from the eighties. Bloodsport. Like Zawa. What does he have in his hand? Kazawa? He's like, I had to go get new pants. I don't know. Maybe it was a shave. I don't know, but whatever he did, he dropped something, and then he went and started beating up John. Right. So, so now they're doing a regular match for him we'll see because of goes, all though. the stuff. So we'll see how well that works out for him if they're going to do that. <laughs> I think he's got a sore neck because he didn't really pop his neck. Right. So he's got his shirt off. In case you guys cared. And he's got his first Airborne uh, Rangers pants on again. <laughs> I guess this is his new outfit. Yeah, his little Ranger outfit. Yeah, something like that. We all got to see what the inside of a wrestling ring looks like, in case you didn't know, though. That was kind of exciting. Yeah, they ripped it all up. Pulled the mat up, pulled they the canvas all up. and Pulled the canvas and then the soft, fluffy stuff underneath can't remember if he pile driving him or uh, was it a DDT? I think it was a pile driver. It was a pile driver. I can't remember how exactly how it ended, but that was a quick match. Well, of course it was. It's like how awesome I am. She's got her popcorn. All you need is your little red solo cup. Sit back. If I was you, only watching. You should have made yourself a drink. Some bubbly. No. Yeah. I have to drive later. Later? Not now, though. You're not driving now. You know what they say about drinking and driving? Don't do it because you might spill your beer. <laughs> it's true. So, uh, I don't spill YouTube my beer. started in. Well, they didn't start a new policy, but now they have to enforce a new policy. 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 <laughs> and so it's everywhere now. Like, it's a f like $4,000 fine or something if you get popped for um having your kid your videos not kid friendly unless you state otherwise so you have to basically say if your video can be watched by a kid <laughs> and i don't know what that means i would like to know what they consider not watchable by a kid what are their guidelines and regulations on that do they have a uh, list I'm or anything like that i'm sure it's all legal about to i don't think they should pages. Um, just tell people they have to do it unless they give them a guideline of what it is because a lot of people are still going to question what does that entail. Right. Not after that match. Uh oh. Somebody's. Somebody's gonna come out. Who's it setting up? Is it gonna be uh, 
Jericho, maybe? Nah. He wouldn't be involved in matches like that. What about those weird kids? Like the one that was strapped to the chair and yeah. put tacks in his mouth. Or the kid on the skateboard. Some of those like Like that matches hardcore like that. match there up in that all in or all out, I mean. Mm hmm. Like that. I could see him doing that. <laughs> so he's calling out people for more of those style of matches. Mm <laughs> Have a wambulance on speed dial. Wouldn't that just be 911? <laughs> or if in Europe it's. Is it 999 or 111? In Europe? Yeah, it's one or the other. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's 999. I think that's the one. So he challenged Peep, but nobody cared. Nobody wants to step up. Well, not right so now. where's that gonna go? Well, you figured somebody would come out and it would start something. There, he just he just fought somebody and beat him up. I didn't mean for a match right now. I and meant for somebody like, to come out and say, "Hey, we're gonna have a camera angle that shows this guy picking his butt." <laughs> Over on NXT, uh -huh. he's got to get his wedgie. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't wear pants with wedgie. I agree. <laughs> I wish they'd cut the music. Mm-hmm. We have no idea what So we got saying. SCU versus Sammy Guevara and Chris Jericho for the World Tag Team titles. Mm-hmm. That's, That's happening a World Tag tonight. Team title match. So is Jericho going to be Jericho two belts? Chris two belts? I don't know. <clears throat> Outdo Becky over at the WWE fame? No. Nah. Yeah, I don't see it happening either. What's happening now, though? Lights are changing. They got strobe lights all over the ceiling. The, the dark, dark order. order. What? What? The dark order is coming out. Woo! With their minions. With their little dudes. Which is creepy. Got to wait for them to get all the way out there. Let's see who they're wrestling. <laughs> all right, so the first match was... Thor doesn't show up on Wednesdays because he's got wrestling practice. Yeah. But he, he isn't I mean, coming he, until later. Yeah, if he comes in. Sometimes okay, he does, sometimes he doesn't. I think we lost Luke. To the Black Death. Either that or just because we were being really negative to Shayna Baszler and I think he likes her. We heard his feelers. <laughs> uh, he was sick. It was right after that when he left, though. Oh. I don't think he's that soft-skinned. Don't know. <laughs> Everybody's different. <laughs> I think he just landed on his head. Uh-huh. did in the white. I think he doesn't have a head. I wish the Luchasaurus was feeling better because I like him. All right. I so it's the Dark Order ones. versus... Um, Jurassic Express. And it says right there if you can see. Myth Legend. Boy Myth Legend. So Myth Legend. Boy Myth Legend. So. What's that? Jurassic what? Express. Jurassic Express. It's the Jurassic Express in the wild, wild west. <laughs> That'd be way Wild West, though, huh? That was back when Pangea ruled the continent. Yeah, that person. Pangea was one giant continent. Well, how did it rule then? Because it was one. <laughs> it's not ruling anything, though. It's a continent. Yeah, human. one. It ruled the world. 
had all life that was on land because there was no other continent. There might have been islands, though. There's no way to prove it. Mm-hmm. Jurassic Express is fun, but it's way more fun when the big guy's there. Why is it more fun when he's there? He doesn't really do anything. Because he's a giant, and he's a lucha. Oh. He's a luchasaurus. Is he gonna... He's hurt. I'm not sure exactly with what. Oh. I thought maybe you knew. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it was an injury. He's like, hi, everybody. But I can't remember which one. <laughs> All right, so we got the Jurassic Express against the Dark Order. And that starts now. We got the crowd already booing. I figured they had already locked up by now, but here it goes. That's the boy blunder. Is that what you said? <laughs> no, it's a boy myth legend oh. is what it says underneath, but I don't know if that's really his name. I don't know his name. Do you know his name? I have no idea. Do you call him him? <laughs> I don't even know the people that are over on NXT. Guard. You know Deal Madden. What? You know Deal Madden. Over on NXT? Yeah. The champion? Dio? He was uh, Bobby he's... Lashley's mouthpiece for a long time. Okay, well, he's not Deal Madden. That's a commentator. Oh, uh, Leo <laughs> Rush. I'm like, who are you talking she gets confused about? Easy. I don't get confused. You're the one saying wrong names. <laughs> anyway, you know Leo Rush. Um, so we're doing picture in picture. If it sounds a little confusing, what we're doing. I'm um, what's the other right? Joey, Johnny, Jason. Where you at? Gargana, Garzada. Gar Where are you at? The guy on NXT. Uh, no, it's like Garcia or something. I don't know his name. I've seen him a couple times, but I'm not big, big on the NXT stuff. Mm -hmm. But glad we're getting that out there. <laughs> well, figure they might want to know an update. Anyways, oh, look like at that! He had the ropes open so he'd go flying through. And he stopped. And, and then he's he did. Floss. He flossed for a second. Stu Grayson is the guy, the bald guy. Stu Grayson. Yeah. What's the other guy called? Stu, don't call me. What's his, the other Grayson? The well, Superman or so, the uh, Batman guy? Are you talking about the Robin? Dark? What's Robin's name? Billy Grayson, William Grayson. I don't know. You don't know. I can't name? remember his name. <laughs> I don't pay attention knew. to Robin. He's Dick. lame. Dick. His Richard. Dick. Dick Grayson. Richard Grayson? No, it's called Dick. <laughs> Stu, don't call me Dick Grayson. I don't know who the guy in the cape is or whatever. The, the dark mask. mask guy? The Dark Order guy? Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Uno? Something. Oh, yeah. Evil Uno. E evil Uno. That's We're getting good evil, at these names. Evil one. We've only done six of these episodes and two pay per views. So we're at eight. <laughs> But these guys didn't wrestle the pay-per-view, so we didn't get to see them. So we didn't get no. the constant They didn't. Reminding. But that's all right. Well, that's what we need, though, is the constant reminding. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's how you get it into long-term memory. Because my long-term memory sucks. Well, my short-term memory sucks. What is that? It sounds like wind blowing. Uh -huh. It's the ring. Is it? Yeah, it's that wood on the ring. That's weird. It sounds like it's it? not in our house. It sounds like it's from our house. Yeah, no, it's the... It's, <laughs> like, it's our actual house. Right. I'm like, why is our house making weird noises? It's the wood a monster on in the our house. ground. <laughs> they There's must a have a microphone right next to the ring. <laughs> There's a monster in our house. It sounds like somebody's feet like, like, what is that? <laughs> so I'm trying to get in. <laughs> Well, we just watched the, you know, the end of it there. It's scared. I was terrified. The demon. Leo Rush with a five-star frog splash for the one, two. Oh, the guy kicks out. You're going to have to pick his butt again. Probably. Oh, cool. he hit him with that one. That one's more like a cross mm. body. And he won it. He retained his title. 
Better turn that volume down. We don't want to get too much of that music. Yeah, they don't, don't like us. that music at all. WWE hates us. I hate them. They know us. They have us on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> so some people got jacked it looks like is that riddle rhea ripley rhea ripley even a woman's down two women oh is that enough that was a woman that mm. first one pretty sure that was a, a girl dude. too All right, what's oh her face? yeah that's a chick dakota dakota kai dakota kai anyway dakota fanning the only other Dakota I know. I know North and South Dakota. Yeah, but they don't count. Yeah, they do. As women. No. They don't count as women. <laughs> Why not? So it looks like he's going up top. And, oh. I can't even remember what they call that. Just a backbreaker. Has he even been able to tag Jungle Boy in yet? I don't think he's no. ever made it over to the corner to get him in. And I mean, why they can't be a guy that's literally 30 pounds sopping wet. It's crazy. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go <laughs> off on a, on a little bit of a rant because I saved this from last night. So I decided to watch a little Impact. Oh, God. And they had a uh, fatal... It was a fatal four-way or a tag team match. It was a tag team match. It was a two-on-two, two, just normal tag team match. And uh, one of the tag teams had a woman in it. Ugh. Yeah. And it was every bit of, ugh. What causes that and what makes it acceptable are matches like this. These little guys. Mm. Because these little guys wrestle these big guys and then people say, oh, it's fun. Well, if the little guys can do it, then women can do it. Um. Right? Right. And so now the women are doing it. And so it's just interesting. Because, I mean, obviously, the woman I watched last night would have been able to beat this little dude up. Right. <laughs> I mean, she's way stronger. Her name's Tessa Blanchard. She's Tolly Blanchard's daughter. Oh. And she's pretty strong. She's pretty built. Mm-hmm. But they got her in the men's division over there. They don't even put her in the women's division. And that's how they got her to sign. And it makes sense because that's the only reason she signed over there. At least that's what she said. Is because oh. she wanted to wrestle dudes. But eventually she'll want to move up money, I would assume. Unless Impact becomes a top brand. <laughs> and then they'll she'll start wrestling on one of these shows. But she'd have to wrestle in the women's division. Well, she could. I mean, they have a wrestler that's... Kind of that way in a women's division. That wrestles men? No. Like Nia Jax. She does every once in a while. No. It wrestles women, but isn't. Okay. That was a close count. So he just pushed him into him in the corner. Yeah. So now they're picking on him. Well, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> I mean, the Dark, Dark Order have to win this match. You would assume, because Jungle Boy and the um, Luchasaurus are the two that are the main guys in that tag team. Mm -hmm. This other guy's just kind of... Oh! That he wasn't supposed it. to happen. Out. Did you see the guy fall mm -hmm. without even really falling? Mm -hmm. Into a hurricane rana. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was So that sad. was basically a three count. He had to stop counting. That was a couple botches in a row. Mm -hmm. Nobody likes to see the botching. No. But it but happens. happens. Did you see the guy? He's like waiting for it. And then he's like, oh, crap. So then he squatted back down if they show that on the replay. Because <laughs> he's like, okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, uh, whoops. <laughs> I think if you mess up on a move, you don't continue to try to do it. I think you just move forward. You would think, right? And that way it doesn't look so staged. Oh, God. That was supposed to be a backbreaker, but he landed on the guy's head. 
Oh my god! I'm like when he let him go, supposed it, to happen at all. No, no, no. It, he landed on the guy's head, and then this is very botch worthy. But the thing yeah. is, is the guy's so small that mm -hmm. it's okay. Like you can just use your power to get out of it. <laughs> Harry says that he like bot. He loves botches, just not like dangerous ones. Right. <laughs> There's quite a few right there, just within a matter of minutes. <laughs> they won. That Yim, that Mia Yim is the worst female wrestler in the history of the, any women's division. And then they put her against one that's actually good, Io Shirai. Yeah. She's the one that was good. And that one gives their uh, teammates an advantage over on War Games. Mm. That's what that's for. Mm. But it looks like something's happening over there. I wonder why those women were beat up. NXT has an interesting storyline going on. Oh, but that match is happening now. Uh, no, that's a oh, different wait, girl. Oh, wait, is this a different girl? That's, um... Uh, Xi. Oh, wait, you probably wouldn't say. No, Z you don't say. Xavi. It's a Xi. Xi Lee. Xi Lee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, he's got a mic. He talks? Oh, he needs to just join him. Oh. Oh, let him be a minion. I want him to be a minion. <laughs> one of us. One of us. <laughs> He's taking them. Oh, no. Jungle Boy stepped in. Oh, they're going to beat him. No, you don't. Take him down. <laughs> <laughs> the creepers just attack him. <laughs> the creepers. <laughs> Look, we got like a Carmella, like a 99 cent version of Carmella. <laughs> like a discounted Carmella. <laughs> Look, it's, I mean, that's Carmella, but not. <laughs> a discounted Carmella. That's nice. <laughs> really sweet. I was going by if Carmella was the dollar. She's 99. I mean, it went like at the 1% now. Like, seriously. <laughs> Calm down, dude. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Sounds like... Seriously, there... Oh, it's the Jurassic Saurus. It's my dude. It's the Luchasaurus. The he came Luchasaurus. back? The Luchasaurus. Yeah. <laughs> He's he coming to help his homies. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see him come back. This is my favorite guy on the whole freaking show. <laughs> That's funny. The crowd, <laughs> holy shit, holy shit. Did you get the Carmella lookalike's name? No. I didn't. I'd be okay if they brought her up to the main roster as a Carmella lookalike. <laughs> and and played name? that. No, and just played it. Like, <laughs> called her Carmella. Just played it. Like, have it give, put it with her truth. And he wouldn't even know. And then he'd see the other Carmella and he'd be like, there's two of them? <laughs> it would be perfect. That's funny. <laughs> Come on, that would work. <laughs> that guy, the, the evil Uno's like, I'm out. What was his name? Sammy? Um. Sammy Grayson? Stu Grayson. Stu. Stu, don't call me Dick Grayson. Mm-hmm. So I haven't seen him for a minute, but I got to see him at that pay-per-view, and it got me all jacked up. He's literally my favorite guy on the roster. <laughs> no Luchasaurus. <laughs> it's definitely good to see him back. <laughs> it's like you never know in wrestling. But like they said in that one article that we read, like one of our most popular guys mm -hmm. dresses with a dinosaur mask on. You know, like. <laughs> right. Hopefully he never turns on those guys. But, you know, as of right now, it kind of looks like AEW is about the tag teams. They almost just do more tag team than anything else. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they have to go overboard with the tag team division. They're about but... the group. Oh, Carmella lost. 
She's not Carmella. Not Carmella lost. I'm going to call her that on my thing versus not. Carmella. Carmella. <laughs> so is that tonight? No. Yeah, it's tonight, but it's not next. No. So we got Sammy Guevara and your champion, Chris Jericho, versus SCU. Is that happening now? What's mm -hmm. happening now? Lights are out. It's a, the chairman. It's a Sean Spears. It's Sean Spears. Is she like spitting in a towel or something? That sounds gross. Well, it does because she a she's a teenage boy. She's spitting like blood in a towel. Oh, God. Yeah. It's definitely not teenage boy worthy. <laughs> so Sean Spears comes out to the ring with a chair and a cape. He's called the chairman. I get it. He comes out with a cape. The chairman. See? Sean Spears. <laughs> like my daughter. I can't sit school. They were capes. I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't remember how to go to school with anybody that wore a cape, but it's kind of funny because when I watch role models... He doesn't wear a cape to school. Yeah, he talks about, they're like, you're not really rolling with the ladies, are you? He's like, yeah, the school nurse and I. <laughs> I talked to the school nurse or whatever he said. Um, yeah, but he doesn't necessarily act like he wears his stuff at school. He though. says he wears a cape. He literally says it. It's like in the movie. Oh. And then, uh, what's his name's character? The the one that's <laughs> with him, the role model guy. Ant-Man. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Super Rudd. Super famous. Yeah, Paul, Paul Rudd. Rudd. <laughs> uh, yeah, Paul Rudd. That guy. You're not going to get too many uh, friends wearing a cape. <laughs> He's like, this isn't like the real world. He's like, I don't like the real world. <laughs> right? I don't blame him. And then he beats up a <laughs> sign later on. He's like, I hate it. Because he gets kicked out. Well, yeah, because the guy, Paul Rudd's character, like, tries to like, be all cool and save him and tries to have but his with back. Violence. So he tries to have his back and then the kid's, like, all mad about it. And it's like, look, well, he didn't know. It's like, it oh, could... I, oh, we're still in character? Whoops. Yeah, because... <laughs> You know, normals are going to bash it out. Normies? Oh, those normies. <laughs> I'm just saying, those people that play Dungeons Dragons and stuff, they're not going to bash it out, are they? Maybe. I don't know. It just depends on who what? they are. Not all of them have to be, like, weirdo softy nerds or something, you they know? Have foam spears and swords and shields. I'm just saying they're probably not going to get in fist fights out there. They're having fun. It's the weirdo guy. The librarian. Oh. <laughs> That's that's who they're putting him up against? Oh my gosh. The bookworm. <laughs> that's so strange. So they're coming out during the picture in picture, so it's fine. Hopefully they go back to full size by the time the match starts. Right. I but I don't know if would? they're probably not in control of that. They just put the commercials whenever, but it looks like they're out there, everything's gonna work out for us. But she has blue hair. Uh yeah, she does. Which so, is weird, I don't I've know never any seen a librarian. librarian that looks like that. <sighs> Me neither. I wanted to be a librarian. You wanted to be a librarian? Yeah, I did. I wanted to be a librarian. Like the Dewey Decimal System? Like yeah, like I wanted to be a librarian. I wanted to work in the library and be a librarian. That's where I spent most of my high school days, was in the library. And then when I went to college, I worked in the library... But I worked in the back part of the library. Yeah, I worked you in the had, front. Did you put the books out, though? Did you mark them in that cart? Were you sitting by the cart and you had to, like, put them on the cart in order and then you take them and put nope. them on shelves? You know what I got to do? I got to do all the stuff that was new books that came in. And I got to put the labels on them and scan them into the system and everything. And then just stack them over there and then somebody else did that part. Yeah. Nice. It was Oh, it's awesome. Skateboard Dude. Yeah, his name is Darby. Oh, Darby Allen! <laughs> he skateboarded. So who's he? Is this like a four-way or something? I don't know. They haven't announced what it is. But Darby Allen's out there. Okay. He's going to break his deck. Uh, that's a pretty strong deck if he hit it that many times. So my question with that is, what if that broke and went into the audience? I don't know. Would... It seems so little dangerous to be bashing your skateboard on the he's, steps. He's very angry. He's like, I feel very angry today. 
I always think I of that. A pent up rage. Like, I always think of the legal <laughs> consequences of things instead of just having fun. Why do we have to think of all old. the legal consequences because of dumb shits like WWE who are like, you got me right in our shit. It's just more along the lines of like, what if you hurt somebody? I wish I knew a, the Godfather. I could be like, I need you to do me a favor. <laughs> <laughs> you come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. I need you to put a horse kill, head in somebody's somebody. bed. <laughs> so it looks like it's a triple threat. It's just threat. a triple threat. Okay, so it's a three way. It's called a three way. Darby. Darby, Allen. Sean Spears, and. I got it. The librarian. Is that his name, though? Uh, that's what I know him as. So the guy just got out Let's of the ring. Let's go, Darby. Well, he's kind of a... Oh, God. Oh, he's kind of not so very good. So he's the good. goof guy. Yeah. He's the one that, remember, we watched, and he's not, like, in really good... Sh well, no, maybe no, it's that was one. No, that was the freaking Oh, yeah, that guy. was that weirdo guy, yeah. No way I'm watching that, dude. Well, I mean, obviously <laughs> I'll be to watch, but... Well, we gotta. If he shows up, the we're gonna have to watch the it The Brett happen. Michaels guy? <laughs> Don't call him that almost like an insult to brett michaels to brett michaels <laughs> you can call him a sean michaels i'm just kidding <laughs> all the people we love got him. finn Balor coming out over on nxt i know i didn't think they had another match i think that women's match she was spitting blood into a towel so i'm wondering if she got hit in the face or something she probably did look at the big drop kick yeah. darby darby isn't Darby the hell, house elf? No, that's Dobby. Oh, Dobby. Dobby is a house elf. Darby. I don't know. That oh, God. That's funny. Ow, he's like, I broke my back. My back's broke. My Sean back, Spears. My back. You know, it's kind of weird seeing Sean Spears as the big physical guy. Right? And then. Because he's not big or physical. <laughs> Sean Spears is like, oh, you broke your back? Well, let me help you break the rest of you. Very violent. Oh god. He's choking him to die. I guess there's no disqualification to triple threat. Three way. Boo. Why on earth they would call it a three way, I have no I idea. I don't know either. It sounds not good. No. It sounds terrible. Do you see the three guys in the three way? Librarian <laughs> <laughs> no. girls like freaking out, like, don't touch me. I've got blue hair. Is she on the phone? Oh, I thought she was no. on the phone. She's got a book. Or something. There he is. Oh God, it's your favorite guy. <laughs> He's out there. <laughs> or is this gonna be a new thing? Like they're like, okay, we're gonna have you uh, beat this guy. Up. Joey Janella. If you want to write it down. Joey Janella. Joey Janella. He's all coked out or something. He probably is. Which would be like out. Brett Michaels. I could see that. <laughs> but dudes. Not a very good wrestler. Not in very good shape. He wrestled at, what was that pay-per-view? Get out, or geared up? Full was, gear? Wasn't the one we just watched? Yeah, full gear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was terrible. He was like an embarrassment to the it sport. It was like, please put your shirt back on. It was horrible. It was like, oh god. I'm not talking about just that. I'm talking about the whole thing. Like the whole presentation. You know, I mean, eh, Kevin Owens is out of shape. Whatever. You know? Yeah, I but get you can it. do stuff. This guy was like, eh. No, thank you. What was that going to be? Is that I like know. a Stone Cold Stunner flip or something? He's like, I'm just a jumpy, jumpy guy. Oh, Finn Balor's getting his butt kicked by Tom Riddle. Or not Tom, Matt Riddle. Is that a guy's name? Is Matt Riddle? Matt Riddle. Um, yeah, the shoeless guy. Well, he had his shoes on for 2.5 Well, yeah, seconds. he kicks him into the fans. Well, I he didn't get a pink. chance to kick him to the fans. He's getting his ass beat. So I think so Darby won. I guess it. Darby won because the chairman was distracted. Yeah, the chairman wasn't even in the match. He left with Joey Janela. They probably went backstage to get a cup of coffee or something. And bam! Darby with the victory. Because the librarian's so good. Seems like it. Oh, here comes the Undisputed Arrow over on NXT.
See, I told you if some weirdo would want him. You know, like, if those four guys were coming at you in real life, you would just need, like, one friend. And you those get... guys? Oh, they'd be so scary. That's the problem with the little guys in wrestling is it's, like, it's not scary. Like, it's not realistic. Like, if those four dudes were trying to fight you at a bar, you'd be like, all right, I just need one other person here, and we'll go to work, you know? How about you get another little guy named Chompa to help right? you out? Well, I'll, even all five of them. <laughs> oh, well, they've got Keith Lee helping him out, too. He's terrifying. He'd sit on you, you'd die. Well, well, with those three guys in the ring, they would handle those four outside, <laughs> no problem, in real life. <laughs> now, in the wonderful world of wrestling... Uh... They're like, the underdog, little guy, always gets to win. And then everybody I've else actually, gets participation I've trophies. I've seen tag teams with just two dudes that weigh more than all four of those guys put together. Right. Because, I mean, Maximum, not one of those guys weighs over 200 pounds, right? Like, I'm trying to see if... Oh, we, I'm sure they do. You think one of those guys weighs over 200 pounds? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that they do, of the Undisputed Era. Uh, that's tough. That's a hard one. I'm trying to picture which one it would be. I didn't say it was a lot. I think this guy on this end. Maybe. Yeah, that's the thicker one. He's kind of maybe. So say he's. He's probably maybe like 205, maybe 210. And the guy on that end might be pushing it too. The, the two end guys. Yeah. But if they're doing the middle guys as over 200, they're no, no, lying. No, no, no. That one, the Adam <laughs> Cole's like 168 maybe. Oh my God. Right, 170. Like. I could push him down and sit on him. <laughs> it's terrifying. And then the other guy next to him, smaller. Yeah, the guy on the end is taller, huh? Him? Yeah, yeah he's a little mic. bit taller. Yeah. Not a lot. <laughs> By any means. A yeah, he's not, he's not pushing any height. <laughs> no. They're not breaking any records here. They're all the about the same height. That guy's like, I need to get taller. I'm going to get on the bottom rope and yell at you. <laughs> Good deal. So are they set up a War Games match here too? I don't know. I'm just making sure I write down some notes for it, just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Oh, he drew a line in the sand. Oh. There's the line in the sand. Line sand in it. Oh, here they come. Whatever. Do they have the cojones? A bunch of bees. Looks like we got a referee. There's the referee. Or they just doing that to, to break it them. up? They're like, oh my god. I thought guys. that was to start a match. Well, they got four referees. Good thing they brought the female referee. Well, you know, she might be able to do something. She I'm could scared whip of her, females. She could whip her hair back and forth. Whip my hair back and forth. Whip my hair back and forth. So, do we got a match? Is it a tag know. team match? They're getting rid of the other guys. They're like, you have to get out of here. <laughs> and he's like, here, come here. <laughs> so, come we, on, looks like guy. we might have ourselves a match. Looks like it's between Keith Lee and whoever that guy is. One of the Undisputed Era. I don't know who he is. He was that guy. He's that guy. You know, that guy. It could be Fish. That guy over there. Fish. No, don't you put that. I didn't say I was oh, going to put okay. it. <laughs> or Trout or Fish. or There was one of them that had a fish name. I think it was Fish. I'm pretty sure his name was Just Fish. Like there Just wasn't Fish? Just Fish. Like this is his name Just Fish. Probably. His first name is probably Just. And his last name is Fish. Like Justin Fish. No, Just Fish. I know, and then you call him Just Fish. But his middle initial could be an N. Justin Fish. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Just Fish. N Fish. <laughs> That's mean. All right. Is this Nyla? I guess. Her chin's grown. Oh, it's not a real chin thought she was on testosterone or something. She had a huge chin for yeah. a second. All right. Who's she wrestling? Herself. Be a hell of a battle. Would it? I don't know. Have you ever wrestled yourself? I used to do it all the time. 
I can't believe how many times I wrestled like my pillows and things when I was a kid. <laughs> That's different. It's a pillow. You're not wrestling yourself. Oh, there she is. Just some girl, random girl in the ring. <laughs> Just some random. I picked her out of the front row. They're like, well. Here, put this on. They're like, so. Um, Here you go. You ready for your first match? <laughs> You've been gone for a little while. So we're going to start you at the bottom again. Well, maybe we are both transgender. So does that mean that Nyla has a wee wee still? It's none of our business. Boobs? I'm always curious about that because I, I don't understand it. Is that why Nyla wears that kind of an outfit? I don't know anything. Huh. It's terrifying. Danny Jorgen or Jordan? Maybe Danny Jordan. I don't know. But it's about over, Nyla so you might not hear her name again. Kicked. Oh, Jorgen. Pretty sure that's what I'm hearing. Okay, I'll just go with that, Jorgen. Does she get away from it, Nyla? Good, good for her. Get away from her. There's not very many of them on there. Yeah, this needs to be completely updated because. Have they really added any more ladies to well, their this roster? This is one. I know, but is she really on the NXT roster? I don't know. Last AW week I was trying though. to find one. I couldn't find one last week either. But I don't know if they were really part of it. Well, they're there, so they need to be written down in case they're there again. That was a little Samoan drop. Yeah. I think they're just like, you know, There's people a lot of from booze. their... Well, I'd boo it, but, you know, I don't want to hurt anybody's fill bads. Boo! <laughs> you don't like the female matches. I don't. And this one? really can't say it's a female match. But we'll pretend. So Nyla... Gets the victory. Weird. So are they going to start pushing her again? Is Riho in trouble? Hmm. Well, of course they're on notice. Who's on notice? The women's division over on um, AEW for Nyla Rose. Mm. Riho's already beat her once. We're going to get a medical update on Dustin Rhodes. See if he's got a broken arm. Mm -hmm. Broke his twig. Concussion. Concussion. Why would he have a concussion? Because he hit his head into the thing and dented it. Oh, yeah. He did put a hole in the car, didn't he? It's right here. Yeah, he throws his head right no. into the fender. Right there. Oh, that hurts. He's ruining his soup. Rolling around on the dirt in the tar mud. Dynamite Dozen Battle Royal, so only 12? The Dynamite Dozen Battle Royal is next week. Ooh, how exciting. <laughs> so they're gonna put a diamond ring hmm. oh it's for a diamond ring I thought they were gonna make the ring a diamond I was like isn't it already a diamond <laughs> that's Ali right she was over on a, um, impact for years yeah. She was like this little meek minor, you know, like mm -hmm. scared of everything girl, and then she turned into a stud. Mm -hmm. It's not hee haw. He has a piercing in his ear. Yeah, it's good to see him pushing the pretty women. What's his name? Tony Schiavone. 
Uh oh, lights went out. Oh, it's gonna be Brandy. <gasps> Brandy's gonna come down and cut off her hair. <laughs> it's Brandy with what's her face. So that's her. That's awesome, Kong, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you call her what's her face? Yeah, because I couldn't remember it's her name. Kong. Okay, I just can't remember her name. Sorry. I didn't know it was a big deal. It's a huge deal. Everybody knows who Kong is. Called her Carmen in WWE. Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, she's attacking her right away. She's not even going to wait until she gets down to the ring. Oh, God. The Judas effect. It's more of like a spinning chop than a Judas effect. Huh? Yeah, I'm not sure. And what's her name? What is Brandy wearing? She's wearing that swimsuit thing again. She's got like office high heels on. Yeah, and she took off her little skirt thing she had on. Look at her find like the perfect piece of hair. Right, because it has to be like a, whatchamacallit or something. No, it can't be really part of their hair. Oh, it's real. It's, sure. I'm pretty sure that it's probably. Oh, they like, sewed in a piece in the back? Yeah. That it's a, whatchamacallit? A weave? Yeah, like part of her weave. And they're like, it's okay, this can be replaced. This is awesome. <laughs> that Brandy has her own little, I mean, large minion who comes down and cuts people's hair off with this weird knife that she flips around, trying not to stab herself with it. <laughs> yeah, the women's division needs to be on, you know, alert. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. from Awesome Kong, Brandy. They're like, okay, Brandy. We want to make sure that you guys just back up because we don't want to see you picking your butt again. Because <laughs> you bent down, get all up in there. Wedgie. <laughs> and we just don't want to see you with your wedgie that you have to take out later. <laughs> okay. It's the Fiend Bray Wyatt, the Universal Champion. Hey, how's it going? Hey boss, we're watching NXT and AEW, but mostly AEW. Yes. We awesome just Kong just... Uh, cut some hair off of Allie. Is that her name? Okay. Allie? Okay. It was her name. I don't know. I'm assuming it's going to be the same name. Yeah. Because in indie circuits, they take their names with them. and the WWE, they keep them. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> like here, if Bray Wyatt decided to leave WWE, he wouldn't be called Bray Wyatt anymore. Oh. He'd be named after his daddy. He'd probably be something rotunda. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he could go with Wyndham, his mom's maiden. Right. Stuff. That's right. All right. Let's see. He says, I am currently watching the Ohio State basketball game. Ohio State is up 70 46 on Villanova. Wow. That's actually pretty impressive. Villanova's a pretty good school. The Big East, I don't know if the Big East is still set up. I haven't watched college basketball for a few years. But the Big East used to be one of the big powerhouses over there with, like, Syracuse and Villanova. But I think they split them up, and some of them went, like, they had Georgetown and stuff like that. But anyways, they split mm. them up, and some of them went to the ACC. Yeah. And uh, I'm trying to remember if they went anywhere else. But it kind of, they did a big shake-up. Mm. Well, anyways, obviously you don't care. <laughs> I don't. Score update, 72-49 Ohio State. Yeah, they're definitely winning. Ohio State's usually pretty good at basketball. Yeah. They're usually on the little bracket thing. Yeah. We have commercials on both sides. You could tell him that, uh, you know, Michigan State, you could bring up Michigan State and he'd probably have a meltdown. <laughs> My buddy went to Michigan State, so... <laughs> <laughs> he didn't play basketball, though. He went to law school. Or... Right. <laughs> Shane, that's where he went. Oh. Clear over there, huh? Yeah. And then ended up in Florida. Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> that's Tallahassee. <funny. laughs> or no, not Tallahassee. Sorry. Um, Tampa. Right. That's funny. <laughs> it just seems kind of odd. <laughs> He's like, Idaho, and then he's like, His parents still live Michigan, here. They still live then... out there where your brother lived. <laughs> oh, yeah, out mm -hmm. there on the Saturn. One of those. Planet Street. Planet Street. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> by the way, Travis, you can kiss my ass on me leaving WWE. By the way, I hate 
T T U N. I'm just saying if he ever did. <laughs> oh. The Please. reason why he's saying that is because... The WWE holds names for they hold, hostage. They, yeah, that's the only reason why it got brought up. Because Cody can't be Cody Rhodes on AEW. I, don't see, I definitely don't want to see Bray leave WWE. Yeah, no. We're not talking about him leaving. We're just saying that if it ever came about that he did leave for whatever circumstances may have happened, he couldn't take his name with him. <laughs> that's what we were talking about, the fact that you couldn't... Like, these guys that came over couldn't take their name. I think the only one that kept their name was Chris Jericho. <laughs> because when he signs his contract, he uses his name. He's very wise. Um, and like not uh, his real name, but that name he takes with him. Right, and Chris, or not Chris, but uh, Dustin Rhodes. You know, I mean, he was with WWE, but he kept Go. his. I don't know if he can be Gold Dust or anything anywhere no. else. He wouldn't be able to do Gold Dust. Right. They patent that stuff, just like Shorty G. Mm-hmm. Patent yeah. his name. Hey, well, so Mustafa Ali is going to be called Mustafa Ali again. Oh, really? Yeah, they put it down in the stuff, so now it's Mustafa Ali. They're oh. probably getting sick of people singing his name as Prince Ali, glory is he. So now he's not just Ali, he's Mustafa Ali. Yeah, so, so now he's back to So he Mustafa. just said exactly what we talked about. I don't know if he heard us, or, but he said, but Chris Jericho can be Chris Jericho on AEW. Yes, right. but that's because he probably... He just works it into his contract. He has to. Uh, you got to think about it. He has his own band. He has stuff that well, he yeah, does outside. Well, yeah, that's not his real name. The, I understand that, but everybody but knows him as that. Right. But he's not Chris Jericho, like, in his band. Right. I know. But even then, you know, it's if like somebody Fozzie. saw him in his band, we're like, holy crap, you're like Chris Jericho from WWE. He had to change his name <laughs> of his move, though. Because I remember when he was in WCW, his it was the ring of Jer the rings of Jericho, and then it was the walls of Jericho. Mm -hmm. so, because they couldn't use that name. Mm -hmm. And now I think he can just use whatever, but I think they call it the Walls of Jericho now. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, but Chris Jericho is down talking to the peeps. And Fiends Leonard. He's the Dave. Ayatollah of Rock and Roll. Right, and his band name is Fozzy. Yep. <laughs> I heard him on the radio one day. Wow, you listen to the radio? No. I was in your <laughs> car, and I was like, why is the radio on? Oh, wait, it's Fonzie. Fozzy, not Fonzie. Really? Like, what channel was it on? <laughs> K-Bear or whatever. It was a very famous song. It was on, like, about two years ago. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> I wonder if I still had it on 103. Maybe. Maybe. Kinda... Thank you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Insulting the they people. They want people jackasses from Idaho. <laughs> so I was looking at their schedule, and they do not have a show scheduled, like for ticket sales or anything for Christmas. Wow. So I think we're not going to be doing this Christmas day. <laughs> they oh. might have like a highlight day or something. Oh. So yeah. We probably okay. will not be doing that on Christmas. Yay. Because they, they're not selling any tickets, and they right. have their stuff sold out through January 15th. Mm -hmm. Well, not sold out, because those tickets don't go on sale till the 22nd for the 15th show, January oh, yeah. 15th. But Anyway, so that's how it's telling me, because they even have uh, the first sold out uh, for uh, January 1st, the New Year's show. Right. Hmm. Well, so that's good, I guess. we know that there's not going to be any shows for Christmas. Yay. That's a relief. <laughs> I just think it would suck. <laughs> just depends. Christmas Eve would probably be worse. Yeah, I guess. Maybe. It's like Christmas or New Year's Eve would be worse than New Year's Day. Yeah. Well, New Year's Day isn't that big of a deal, but... Bowls all day. College football. Yeah, but I don't want, like... Um have to do Christmas The national championship's going to be on my birthday. <laughs> and we have Raw. So well, happy birthday to you. It's in two months. <laughs> but it's literally January 13th. The national championship game's going to be that Monday. And we have this show. Picture and picture. <laughs> MJF, he's coming down. And an Alabama lost, so it might not be worth watching the game anyways. But... <laughs> 
Maybe they can get it back in the playoffs. <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> it's just kind of fun to watch them in the playoffs. Right. Because their defense is usually pretty good, and they got a running game. I don't know who their quarterback is this year. I haven't watched them. Look, it's MJF in the ring with Jericho. MJF <laughs> is the reason that we have Jericho as the champion. Still. Well, you know, that might not necessarily be true because Jericho dominated that whole entire match. He did. They don't like him. <laughs> oh, he's got something he needs to get off his chest. Boo! Well, you're not <laughs> supposed to like him. Boo! Is it because I threw the towel? He was helping <laughs> Cody. Cody was busted open. He was completely out of it. Yeah, see? He was helping. Your favorite wrestling Fact. career would be over. <laughs> Cody. Yep. <gasps> Cody's the real villain. Kind of like a Game of Thrones. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, they used it. I love me some Cody Rhodes. Do you? Do you? <laughs> he don't give a shit about it. A single one of you. <laughs> that guy's got a Cody shirt on. Grandson of a plumber. <laughs> Is that what it said? That's what it said. Yeah, well, that's true. Grandson of a plumber. Cody. <laughs> Chris Jericho. Uh, you? Do you know Cody? I don't. I'm looking at you. You're not Cody. <laughs> Ooh, oh. now you're his puppet. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> MJF has a puppet. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, is this is a crybaby fest or what? Bullshit. Oh, bullshit. 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 <laughs> this is a bunch of bullpucky. <laughs> okay, so that match with Keith Lee and the Undisputed Era dude is still going. For all those at home who want to know about NXT. <laughs> oh, the Undisputed's coming down. They're not supposed to be there. Well, they're trying to jack up their friend. Oh, look. Is Champa going to take all three of them out? I don't know, but... Wait, where'd the other guy go? He's just watching. All three of them came down. <laughs> Where's the other guy? I don't know. He's over on the other side. Oh, oh he's Riddle. getting beat up by Matt Riddle. Hey, look, they got a Hulk Hogan wannabe in the audience. <laughs> nice. Well, there's all the proof that we need. MJF yeah, is better. Because he's better than him? Well, he said it. Yeah. So as of right now, it's a fact. Oh, look. Finn Balor came down and helped. The Undisputed Era? Yeah. Well, Matt Riddle did come down and beat him up earlier, so of course he's going to go after him. Uh, they don't like each other now for some reason. <laughs> it's good to see Finn Balor back down there in NXT. <laughs> Right. He gets a lot more show down there. Hmm. Keith Lee's distracted. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Christopher. Ooh, is he going to join the inner circle? Keith Lee just win. I think Keith Lee just <laughs> pinned him. Wait. <laughs> Keith Lee just won and then is got beat, beat up. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I heard you want me in the inner circle. I heard you want to be in the inner circle. And yeah. now they're arguing. Now they're arguing about who wants what and who's doing what. Weirdos. <laughs> oh. Freudian slip. Inner circle jerk. <laughs> Well, who doesn't? Tell people at home I don't drink. Who's this big guy? Oh, is this that Djokovic? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. to see you in the chat. He's saying he doesn't want to be in the inner circle. <laughs> you want to be like Chris. Let's be like Chris. <laughs> Guerrero. <laughs> now you know how old I am. <laughs> 23 years ago. 25, and I was watching it. <laughs> Google it. Who's Hoovy? They're going to be a tag team there for the war games? I don't think so. I think so. Maybe. I don't know, but I'm really tired there of hearing is. about the inner circle. <laughs> the inner circle jerk. Looks like MJF's going to be in the inner circle. Is he? He's going to be the pivot. Because he wants to be? He's going to be the pivot man in the circle. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> 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 oh, the inner circle's growing. Hell. <laughs> oh, Cody's face looks terrible. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> he kind of looks a little bit like Bart Simpson, huh? <laughs> With his hair all weird like that. Your face is all busted up, dude. Oh, he's going. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, God. Uh-oh. So Jericho just rolled with him. That was supposed to be a power slam. But mm -hmm. his, his boots slipped on the canvas. Mm -hmm. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously a Randy um, Orton move. Uh-oh. That's all right. Who is it? I don't know. Some big guy in a suit. Ward Wardlow. Wardlow. So we got Wardlow beating up Cody. Look at the F five. Is he Brock Lesnar? Did you see that? No, I didn't see it, and I think his name is Wardlow. I know, but he F5'd him, and then flexed like Brock. <laughs> He's taking his tie off. Is he going to hang him with it? Oh, God. He is. I haven't seen hangings for a long time, and it looks like AEW is going to bring him back. This see? considered, like, porn. Hangings? Is this like that sex thing? 
What the hell are you talking about? Were they like choke themselves until they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So in the 80s and 90s, they had a lot of the hanging stuff, and then they got rid of it. Well, WWE doesn't do it, so. And <laughs> since nobody else is around, looks like they're bringing hangings back to the forefront. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's busted open again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Cody's bleeding all the way across his forehead. Right. That's going to take forever to heal. Yeah. So Fiend's on us that the Buckeyes win at 76 to 51 over Villanova's. They're in Columbus, Ohio. Well, good. I'm glad they won at their home thing. Winning at their hometown. Yeah. And then um, Thor was talking to the Fiend about going to the fun house. And then Thor said, hey, Wrestling Gab, in a few minutes I'm going to post a practice match I had at practice. I wanted to see if you guys would like to watch it. Heck yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. Totally. How exciting. So, does that mean that the MJF guy is in the inner circle now? Yeah. Okay. So, we got Sammy Guevara, Chris Jericho, Ortiz, um, Santana, and now MJF. Uh, let's see. Cody came down, beat up Chris. And MJF. And then Wardlow. And, and beat up Cody. Okay. Oh my gosh, how exciting. Oh, there's more stuff going on outside. Look, another beat down. Some other girl in the NXT. So those are two of the other girls, though. Yeah, on the other... The so is it a retaliation team? hit? I don't know. Like, Baszler's <laughs> team got beat up, and then they got beat up. Obviously, it's WWE, right? Well, I don't know, but Triple H wants to know what's going on, because he's like... Or is it still the War Games buildup? That guy has high water on with no socks or pants or... I mean... <laughs> what? <laughs> He has high waters with no socks pants. No pant socks. That's weird. He just had it like blue pants on that went to here. Like slacks. <laughs> mm. Isaiah Swerve. Get your swerve on. Is this the guy that was complaining? No. He doesn't work <laughs> there anymore. <laughs> Jordan Miles? Is that the guy's name? Uh... What was his slave name? Don't call him by his slave name. He's A-C-H. A-C-H. Because WWE is a bunch of racists. Hey, it's Hangman. Hangman Adam Page is coming out on yeah. AEW. Who's he fighting tonight? The guy that came out first. Pac. Pac. Oh, I didn't know Pac came out already. Yeah, he's already down there. They're, they're having another beating, huh? Yep, because Pac wants his redemption oh, on Dusty. the cowboy. <laughs> he wants his redemption. <laughs> Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed. I think he's busting out of his onesie. <laughs> his nip slip. <laughs> oh my god, I just <laughs> my popcorn. Oh my god. <laughs> Over on a... NXT, NXT, you'll see a nip slip if you guys want, want to see it. <laughs> you guys want to see some nipples hanging out tonight. <laughs> you might want to go over there and look now. Because he's thick. He's thick. Yeah, I like him <laughs> real thick and juicy. No fun that juicy double. <laughs> my nipple's in trouble. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. There's nothing wrong with the big guy. It's just he needs to keep his boobies in his one seat. He's got one boobie in and one boobie out. He's like, look, I'm fuck. I'm fuck. It's okay <laughs> to be big like that. I don't mind that. In the 80s, they were all big like that. Oh, look at that. A little mutual respect. Oh, back over the top. Sorry, I'm a little Oh, uh, no, you're bipolar. fine. I'm going back to AEW. 
At least these guys look better. <laughs> Even if Pac is weird looking. You want him to get his ears pinned back like a Doberman pinch. I do want to get his ears pinned. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't do that. Yes, they but do. I guess those, People that, do that all the time. That botched thing would do it. So Lacey Evans's guy or husband or whoever he may be. Is he a wrestler? I have no idea. Oh, okay. Keep going. Anyways, I was looking on Instagram because they're over in Germany doing their stuff for WWE. Yeah. And they were walking around with her daughter. And her daughter is a little toehead. Right. Anyways, her daughter saw her mom on a poster and started freaking out and crying. And was like, I'm just so happy. It was funny. And then she goes, she goes, so I, uh, so they asked the owner of the place if they could have that, you know, because he was like, what's going on? And so the guy gave her the poster of her mom. Her mom being on the WWE poster that was in his establishment. That's pretty anyway, funny. Anyway, so they had a picture of like all three of them. I'm guessing that's got to be who she has her kid with because the girl looks a lot like Lacey but has ears just like her dad because his ears stick out like Pox do. So I'm like, that poor girl. You better get her ears pinned. Oh my God. It's okay just to be you. <laughs> just put it back. Just a little. It's all right. <laughs> you know, like, um,. Those bracelets that are hard, they're like rulers, and then the you go slap pop, bracelets? and then they go around you. Yeah, slap bracelets. Get those put in your ears, so you can just pop them up <laughs> if you want them up, or you can just be you. Just put little magnets and just magnetize it. What gauge are those? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. Back to wrestling. <laughs> We have a wrestling batch that's happening right now. This should be a good one because yeah. they're both Adam Page wrestlers. and Pack. Yeah. Yeah. And they <laughs> tore that roof off of it on uh, Saturday. Yeah, they did really good. At the pay-per-view. Yeah. They did really good at that pay-per-view. Yep. I finally found Page my... Uh, the big old lariat. Right? Go ahead. So I finally found my wrestling crush. It's taken years and years of watching this <laughs> stuff. "Quote unquote," as I like to sometimes call it, garbage. But uh, <laughs> some of it is. Some of it is. Anyways, but I finally found my crush in wrestling. And what's nice about it is, is that he's a full time guy, and he's one of their main guys, so he'll be on basically every right. week. Right. Yeah. So I don't know if I really care about like his wrestling stuff, but nothing wrong with it. That's he's an old fashioned style clothesline guy i mind i don't mind that he's a strong guy he's a big guy yeah i have no idea huh did you say what i said oh i have no idea that he's i'm like big. oh i have no idea <laughs> what his style is i'm like i don't he's know he's a powerhouse but he can move to that probably give you a little whiplash you freaking think look i think he didn't stick his idea. tongue out he probably would have bitten it off that's how Paige got retired Right, that getting kicked, kicked in, the, in back. the back. Right, so Thor says that it's up now. If you guys want to watch, and um, it's still, it's all, it's still all work in progress. And then, so what's up with Moxley? He came out a little bit earlier and uh, beat up. A he, he won nobody. his match, and then he put out an open challenge to anybody in the back that wants to wrestle him. Yeah, because because everybody's scared of him. Yeah, because Omega's hurt. But, he, has, but he, he does have respect for Omega. Yeah, he does. Ha he sh has respect for him. But Omega's hurt enough that he's not cleared to do any wrestling for a while. But that match was hell. It was. Absolute it was hell. crazy. It was awesome, though. That suplex off the freaking, uh, whatever that is, the ramp, mm -hmm. onto that bob wire. Woo-hoo! <laughs> yeah, that was a little terrifying, There were all sorts of ripped open from the bats. I think the bats and the broom were the two worst. Oh, yeah. Even though that, that bob wire spring-loaded thing that they were on was all sorts of nuts. Motley, Moxley got his foot caught in it. Oh, yeah. So he, he was stuck out. in the bob wire. Yeah. He couldn't just, like, crawl out of it. Like, Omega just kind of crawled right out of it like it was no big deal. But right. Well, he got a little help. Moxley was like, well, was no, like but he could turn over just fine. And then yeah. he got out with... The guys on the outside kind of helped him, but they didn't have to go right. underneath and un... Un the other dude had to go underneath it, get his <laughs> yeah. foot unstuck, yeah, and then pull him out. Yeah, exactly. And so I was reading an article. This isn't. This is a WWE thing. Um, that I was reading earlier today. Um, I guess John Cena was on 
um, a talk show that is hosted by Kelly Clarkson, the Kelly Clarkson Show. So Kelly Clarkson has a I like did not a know that. talk like show, a podcast or no, like a like like what Ellen DeGeneres does, kind of thing. Now, anyway, so he was our guest on there, is it and about he eating was disorders. No, what kind? I guess like Jenny Craig, Jenny Jones. Like you don't know which one. No, <laughs> like you're not sure if it's the skinny Kelly or fat Kelly. No, it was just normal Kelly. <laughs> there was just her normal. Get stronger. La, 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 la. I don't know any of her words. Anyway. I don't know any of her songs. So John Cena was on it. So John guest. Cena was her, was one of her guests, and they were talking about WWE. And they were talking about um, how he doesn't, he's not really ever going to retire from WWE. He always wants to be involved in WWE. And then he said that what he did before he came out down to the ring to get himself, like, psyched up or whatever is he ate 10 thousand calories worth of tic tacs before he'd come out for his match Ten start your mouth thousand calories worth of tic tacs he said i went through like three or four boxes before i'd come down huh. and he goes it's so funny he goes that you know he goes we kind of police guys in the ring a little bit when it comes to their hygiene he goes, because, you know, he can't go out there without having a little B.O. and right. some body odors and, you know, and stinky breath and all this stuff. And he's like, so to counteract some of that, I'd make sure I'd just eat a whole bunch of Tic Tacs so it was 50 fresh. And he goes, and if those guys, like, he goes, and we give him a little bit of leeway when it comes to that because, you know, it can happen and stuff. But he goes, if any of them ever get out of line, we were always on them like, dude, dude. You gotta do something about your your stink. Right. <laughs> so, anyways, I I thought it was kind of an interesting little tidbit to know, and he he wants to stay involved in WWE in the sense of helping some of the new people, like for their intro stuff and and trying to do their promos and everything like that and right. stuff like that, which That's I cool. thought was pretty cool of him. That's actually pretty neat that he would want to be involved in that kind of stuff. <clears throat> stay involved in the game. Yeah. Help out the company that made him rich. He makes like $14 million a year. Well, he used to. Now he probably makes more. Right. He probably makes that off one movie. Possibly if they're good. No, they pay him to act. They don't pay him how good their movies are. You get paid by your next movie. <laughs> how good you were on your first movie. <laughs> well, if your first movie is stupid and sucks, <laughs> you might it's not a get paid as much. He's going to do it again. Nope. He landed he on his feet over. that time. Oh, 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 that's it. Ouch. That's it. That was a... F he that's flipped him over a clothesline. But he's not even trying to pin him. Right? Well, he's tired. Took it all out that's of him. That's a good old-fashioned Bray Wyatt clothesline right there. Lariat, whatever you want to call it. Sickle, if you're Russian. Look at this guy. This ref is like... You think that girl's all involved? Look at that guy. <laughs> he's all like... <laughs> Counting. Ten. Ten. <laughs> I thought that match was over. That guy hit him with a big old DDT. He flips him over backwards. He's reversal. Not, look at that. Matt. Look at him. They, just, they call that a standing switch. Yeah. A little thick over there. Uh-oh. He's putting him in the 69. Oh. He got kicked in the face. Is he going to pile drive him off there? I don't know, but they're doing some gross things over on NXT. <laughs> the 69er. <laughs> oh, there's another DDT. Is that going to work this time? I don't know. Okay, One, it's pretty big. Two. Why are you in here? Hi, weirdo. Can you get out of there? Thanks. <laughs> You're uh -oh. such a jerk. The other one picked up a <laughs> toy. I hear some squeaking. Yeah. Squeaks. Anyways, so Thor's like cool about the stuff with that. And then he says, I got to say, every time I'm at practice in the ring and I feel at home. Good. Good deal. I mean, obviously, you want to be as comfortable as you can. Right. Yeah. Make sure you eat, watch what you eat and stuff. I mean, I would assume that there, there's like... Nutritionists. You'd want to be very good with your nutrition so you're not... Like if any foods make you gassy or... <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, make you sure you eat a whole bunch of Tic Tacs. Oh. 
I guess that was a free for all now. Jailbreak. Thank you. It's a free for all. It's a free for all. <laughs> you little poops. <laughs> She's a little wackadoo. I don't know if she moved the gate or. Because I had moved it out towards the kitchen. And then I put it in between, like, so they could only go into the kitchen and that way. Oh. Is that how we got in here? Well, I had it right in front of the door. Well, I know, but it was in the way. Because then when you go out there to move, they're in the hall. It's okay. We weren't going to be leaving for two hours. <laughs> so we got Pock on top here. Yeah. Big old stomp to the head. He's like, I'm going to kick him in the head. I don't want to build a ring now that I see how they're built. No. <laughs> Just build it as a deck. No. And as your deck rail. <laughs> cable. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's about the size of our deck. Great. I am not. Maybe uh, ours is only about, what, 16 <laughs> feet wide, though? And that's about 20, I think. We have like 20. two, three acres of land, sure. You take a little back pasture and <laughs> you do that with the back pasture and there get your is. little weirdo friends out there. That's got to be it. <laughs> He's going to beat Paige this time. Yeah? His 540 frog splash. And then he put He's him done. in a hold and, and Paige is out Pay like back. a light. So Paige. Oh, he's not breaking it, though. He can disqualify him. He can reverse the decision, ref. He could have right. just reversed the decision. Yeah. He should have. Oops, wrong one. Let's count to five and reverse the decision. I will watch your match right after we're done, by the way, boss. Yeah, and he has a question, so. Ooh. Oh my gosh, stop. Stop being a weirdo. Naxos? No. Hey. If I build one, I would always no. just stay together. No. I'd have to just build a cover for it. <laughs> Put it in one of those metal barns. The World Tag Team Championship is up next. Oh, there's something happening in the back. Somebody's beating up somebody. Who are these people? That's a young Bucks, right? Nick and Matt? Who are they? Whoa! Is it Santana and Ortiz? Because it's this definitely the Young Bucks. Look at on top of the forklift. Well, it's a guy in a... Look at the forklift. Oh, it is. I guess it is Santana or Ortiz up there. That's Santana up top. Oh, he, he threw, threw his, his gum, gum at, at him. Oh! <laughs> and down! Oh. oh. I think he's just hurt his shoulder. Oh, jeez. Said something to his shoulder. Well, yeah. He tried to catch him and freaking got hurt. So that's Matt, right? He had the lighter hair. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Orange Cassidy. Smoking in the boys room. He's like, I'm just standing in the freaking bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm weird. <laughs> just close the door, buddy. I'll let you be well. <laughs> that just was gonna great. Let, I'm just going to let you do your thing. You do what you got to do. You guys need some privacy. Cats need to pose it in the Y'all need some privacy. <laughs> in the words of R Truth from WWE. That's funny. <laughs> Y'all need some privacy. <laughs> Orange Cassie's just standing in the bathroom. Just staring. Just standing there. Not doing anything. He's not peeing or doing anything. He's just standing there. There's Pete Dunn. Yeah, Pete Dunn. Over on NXT right now. They are fighting over on um, AEW, AEW, but it's pitcher and pitcher and there's no sound. So we, I flipped it over to it. NXT. Which is now on a commercial. Which is now commercialized. So, so it we'll flip it matter. back to the Sprint commercial on this thing. Yeah. Let's we'll turn it down a little bit. He's like, I got to take my hair out of my pouch. So they're coming out to the ring. They're fighting all the way down to the ring. Holy crap. They're like, we need to take this brawl to the people. We need the brawl to the people, we people. We the people. Brawl to the peeps. Brawl to the peep. peep hey, they're peep, part of the... Peep, oh, peep, peep, isn't peep, Jake Hagar in there, too? Peep, 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 Jake peep. Hagar's in there, too. Yeah, in the, the inner, inner circle. circle. Yeah. I forgot about him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jack Swagger. Oh, God. He just hit him with a big old pipe. Ugh. I think it flew up in the stands. 
Ugh. Poor person. What person? I don't the guy know. that got hit with the pipe? Sure. You're like, I'm writing, don't bug me. I am. I was writing down what was happening. The big brawl. Yeah. Orange Cassidy taking a bathroom break. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> and then I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see. They're still fighting, though. They've made it all the way to ringside now through the crowd. Looks like Nick, maybe. Can't tell his hair color because it's really dark. Well, I know that Matt took his hair down. Oh, yeah, that's Matt there. So Matt's already at ringside, and Nick just showed up. Oh, there's security. And so Nick comes off the top rope, or off the, t off the turnbuckle, or not even that, off ringside, and freaking cross-bodied the whole group of everybody. <laughs> They got some good old fashioned street fights. I wonder if they're going to pull something like that maybe next week. Do it an actual street fight or something. Well, they are doing a 12 man. For the 12, diamond ring. Whatever that's called. Uh, it was called the dozen. The well, diamond the dozen. Diamond dozen. The diamond dozen. <laughs> Which is funny because that's. Um, diamond Dallas Page. Diamond Dallas Page's thing is called the diamond dozen. Like yeah. his workout. <laughs> so maybe it'll be brought to you by his workout. Maybe. The diamond does. Something like there that. There's some yoga moves. Huh. Do your yoga. They're back. Thor says, if you build a ring, take it from me. Have a lot of people. It's a pain to put together. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> so, AEW just has the Young Bucks fighting around with Santino, Santana and Ortiz all over the place. They have been taking out security as they've gone along, refs, anybody gets in their way, they're just beating the poop out of them. So the local boxing gym here in town got their ring stolen. It was pretty sad. They've had it, they had had it for over 30 something years. I know, I fought in that ring. It was the ring that they would take down and take everywhere. I don't think they ever found anything. I've never heard anything more about it. I don't know, I never heard anything about, about it. it. I think that's stupid. Dude, stop. What a bunch of stop. jerks. Those kind of people need to be found and then strung from a tree. Thieves. They used to get them for theft. They could hang them back in the old days. Nowadays, they don't do that. Tyler, oh, God. He hit him in the knee. Ouch. What? The ref's like, let me let me help you. I'll save you. He's like, I'm going to lay right on top of your knee. <laughs> That's what Argus would do. He's like, oh, you're on the ground. Let me lay you. Let me help you. <laughs> Did you fall and can't get up? Let me help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> I could be getting beat up by another dog. Argus would lay on me and get in the way so I couldn't fight back. <laughs> right? The other two would go crazy and go after the dog, but... Oh, look, they're making a little bullseye. I guess. They're going to powerbomb him right through that. Because <laughs> it's, it's like, obviously a table. Wouldn't there be an X, though? Wouldn't you want it to be an X marks the spot? It's a bullseye. Are they going to go through it? Like, you want to do this? We're going to make you do it. Nick's going through it. Oh. <laughs> Aubrey Edwards is going in after him. You guys are done. You need to get out of here. You are in so much trouble, mister. So much trouble. He's like, let's just beat up this other one. Something boy's gonna die. Now they're both going to die. Uh oh, that's a hit. They got a hit out for me. I was saying that they should take that person who did that and tie their hands behind their back and this string guy? them up from their feet. Uh, another wrestler. Is that Kazarian? With the SCU? Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe. I didn't think they were, quote unquote, faces. Oh, we no. lied. They we'll lied. beat you too. <laughs> they lie a lot. <laughs> so looks like NXT's main thing is uh, Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn. Are we at the end? Is it close to the end? It's about I guess. thirty minutes. I don't even know who won the other one. I don't either. I'm pretty sure. Isaiah it was. Swerve, Scott, I think and it Bronson was Swerve. Reed. 
sort of kept hitting him with DDTs off top rope. Yeah. I don't know who has the apocalypse music. I don't know. Not the intro know. over on NXT. Uh, Killian Dane. Oh, there is your answer. We knew that because I remember that last week. I like Killian. Old Killian. Yeah. He was... Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. He just got attacked in the back of the head by... Uh, what's his face? The other one. Uh, Damien Priest. Yeah, Damien Priest. The devil. They're both the devil. Did you touch my water? Did you lick it? He's like, yes. You gonna put it back down there for me? I'm gonna look at it. I'm gonna want you to pet me. He's like, Dad, I've never <laughs> seen you drink out of one of those. Are you okay? There's poison in it. <laughs> yeah. Poison. I think there's poison. Poison. He's probably just upset because it made noise when I sipped it. Yeah. Oh. Can you get off me? <gasps> he's like. <laughs> My neck, buddy. Come he's, on, sir. He's like, we're having a wrestling bout. Back. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man. You got to back up. There's a good boy. <laughs> You're not little. You're not little. <laughs> You're handsome, but you're not little. <laughs> no. No. Get away from my water. Get out of my water. Forget about it, it'll grow mold. Not. Why don't you just put it up top? <laughs> Where? I have nowhere to go up top with it. I had to hold on to that for dear life. Ooh. Hopefully nothing got broke. <laughs> well, that's why I held on to it. Can you not? <laughs> Can you please not be weird? Okay, are you really going to do it again? Whack your phone so we got there. the SCU. I know that's why I had to hold on to it really tight. <laughs> anyway, so it looks like DB and Priest came over and just started beating up both those guys. So is it going to be a triple threat? I don't know. Because they still he, like started minutes. beating up Killian Dean Stop. at the top, and then he came down and started beating up Pete Dunn, and then he just started going after Pete Dunn, and then Pete Dunn was trying to beat up Killian Dean like they were trying to have their match, but it didn't work out. <laughs> So who knows? Scorpio Sky, Frank Kazarian. What's the other guy's name? He was the older guy. That guy. Ooh. Oh, dang it! He was over on um, Impact for years. Don't turn up their music. I, I'm trying to hear names. <laughs> Oh wait, that matches I the main event. I see you. You Shirai and Mia Yim. Yeah. I'll let her come after you. <laughs> oh, it's Chris Jericho. Who is? Go and Johnny Guevara. Guevara. I just can't remember who they were fighting. <laughs> can't remember who they were fighting. Da -na 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 -na. Um. <laughs> the worst town I've ever been in. That she's pretty, but she's like old or something. I can't figure it out. The weirdo that just came over to yeah. talk to me a yum. Mm. Ah, yeah, I guess. Maybe it's her face. <laughs> Weirdos. I see you. Christopher Daniels. Christopher Daniels. Isn't it uh, Southern California something? SoCal Uncensored. Yep. SoCal Uncensored. 
uncensored. All right. Ooh, do I have a question? This will probably be one of our last commercials of the night. Yeah. Eh, we got 40 minutes. So, 40 minutes. Thor said, if you were in charge of AEW, how would you run a Wednesday night show? Like, set up matches and stuff. All right. Well, you would have to start the show with a match. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, well, I'm going to do segments and stuff. So, <laughs> so A is match. So we're going to go right out with a match. And uh, matches probably don't matter too much, but we could throw in something. Let's do uh, Darby Allen versus the guy that is... Uh, who's the crazy guy that eats thumbtacks and shit? Oh, I don't remember his name. He's really fun, though. He's exciting. We've done one together before. I know. It would take me too long to get through all these. <laughs> Anyways, dang it. I can't think of what that guy's name is. We could make it fun though. Let's go. Is it Jimmy Havoc? Yeah, that sounds about right. Where's that? Yeah, so do Jimmy Havoc versus Darby Allen. That's how we'll just start the show. Okay. Now, it's just a normal show. I'm not building up to pay per views or nope, anything. Because if I was going to build it up, then there would be like. After the match, I would do an interview, which would... But this is how you build the shows. Got it, but you're not... You're just right, setting so up matches Right, so you're saying just make stuff. all matches. You're setting up matches that, and stuff. Right, but what I'm getting at is that you want to set up for the future, too. So you want to, you want to do segments, right? Like Jericho in, you know, and Cody do a contract signing, you know, segments. Okay, what do you want to do next? Then you have a match, and then what... I'm going to go ahead and have Havoc win that and then be interviewed afterwards by Tony Schiavone. Okay. And then there'll be a commercial. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Do your picture in picture. Anyways, and then I would go into, um, I'd have Ali versus Brandy. Probably wouldn't need to go that far. With an awesome Kong interference. Okay. And then Nyla Rose comes down to help out Allie. Uh, okay. To set up a Nyla Rose awesome Kong feud down the road. Right. Um... Do they have any um, people, like uh, any uh, ringside uh, people? The only one that does is um, Tony. Sean Spears. Wait, what are you doing? The chairman, Sean Spears. I'm talking about people that interview. Oh. Backstage interviewers. Do they have a mm -hmm. girl? I can't remember. I don't know if they do or not. I can't remember. All right, so we've got two matches, right? Mm-hmm. Anyways, I still have uh, um, Allie losing that to Brandy, though. So you put Brandy as the winner. Then I would do like a Nick Jackson match. So the, the um, what are they called? I can never remember their tag team. The Elite? No, that's not what they're called. Matt and Nick Jackson. Oh, the Young Bucks? The Young Bucks. Here comes Johnny Guevara. Okay. I know to have them fight. Um, well, as of right now, it'd be a Santana Ortiz, but that, I want to build up to that. So, let's, I'm a wannabe let's go with the Lucha Bros. Okay. First the Lucha Bros. And then Santana and Ortiz interfere immediately. Almost like before the match even starts, and that turns into a triple threat. And it's a number one contender match. Okay. Because this was a number one contender match in the first place. 
and then so add it and then turn into a triple threat for a and then I have Santana and Ortiz winning it. Okay. And then for the next one, obviously they would go on to win, but don't put that on there because that's the it would be the next show. Yeah. Because that's that's how the build up. Because you can't just do a weekday show not building to something. If it's pay per view, those are finales to me. Right. Okay, let's do Jake Hagar versus Adam. Page. And the reason is is because it built towards it. And then we can go to the match here in a second. It should be starting. And how many matches is that? That's four. Four. We'll go for five. So Who was the guy that just came out a few minutes ago that I said was doing Brock Lesnar moves? Wardlow. Do Wardlow. Versus Pack. And then Moxley comes out and beats up Wardlow to set up something. And then Pack wins because of disqualification. But it's just like to set it up. And that's the main event. But the, And then that's how the show would shut because the pay-per-view is the next Sunday. Okay. Okay. So next commercial, we can go through it. Yep. And then he wants to hope we got a chance to see his practice match. Not, Not yet. Not quite, <clears throat> quite yet, boss, but we will. Where did you put it on? Instagram. Did you do it on Instagram? Okay. Or... I just want to make sure I know where you uploaded it to so I know where to go. Oh, Rick Knox. Rick Knox. He's a Spanish god. No. I don't see it. I don't see why he's popular. I have no idea. I don't find him popular at all. I find him obnoxious. <laughs> The Ayatollah of Rock and Rolla. It's funny they put his name and then they put with Jake Hager. Hager. <laughs> By the way, this is a ladder match in case you didn't notice there was a ladder in the match. Oh, for the girls? Yeah, for the over on NXT. Oh, fun. Good for them. Instagram. Okay. Oh. Ouch. With Christopher Daniels. So this is a title match. Yes, it is. It is a title match. But Cody's going to come down and ruin it for everybody. Right? Is he? Because well, I mean, he's a jerk. How's it going to end? Because he, he's a jerk. He's the bad to, guy. According so is to that like alligator Maxwell. skin? On the inside? Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of what it looks like. Right? We got 12 minutes. Did this they go over it a little bit last time? No. They didn't. I couldn't remember if they went over for just a second. I don't think they did. They don't, because we usually end up going over to NXT after. Right. Well, no, I know they, they NXT lasts longer. I just wasn't sure. So it's a 12-minute match, so we should have one commercial in there. Right. To get through our answers. If not, we can just do it right after. Whew. All right. So we got Chris Jericho, Johnny Guevara versus the O. No. That's not what they're called. SCU. SCU. I was going to say the OC, and that's a different, complete channel. <laughs> it's a different brand altogether. Wackadoodle. <laughs> so, so Frank Kazarian's in first. Frankie Kazarian versus Jericho. Yeah. <laughs> I know these guys' name. We watched them at the pay per view. Uh, so, what we good. need is that pay per view to. Get it ingrained into our brains. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else is that if you could actually listen to it? And then I it probably it. would be. <laughs> Frankie Kazarian. There he goes. Little backdrop. 
Oh, drop kick, but he only got him with one leg. Oh, Jericho goes to the wrong corner for the tag. He's all he was sorts confused. of scared. He was all sorts of confused. The, the geriatric <laughs> Jericho. The geriatric Jericho. Well, 25 years ago. <laughs> Makes him almost 50. <laughs> have a two, have a two, Carrera. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Google him. What's a have a two? <laughs> you need to Google him. <laughs> he wore a mask. <laughs> <clears throat> I think it'd be hard to breathe in those things. Or C. The seeing would be the harder for me. Yeah. I have to match breathing. The face sweat. <laughs> I don't know about everybody else at home, but my face sweats. So. <laughs> You're like. I got the meat sweats. I got the meat sweats. <laughs> First time I ever noticed my face sweating, besides football and stuff when I was a kid. but <laughs> Was when you ate all the ham. <laughs> It wasn't, it was, it was. I got the meat sweat. It was meat. It was meat with uh, horseradish on it. My dad's like, here, try this. And I'm like, okay. Well, I like hot stuff, so I put a whole bunch on it. I like buttered it up with horseradish. Mm, That'll hurt you through your like sinus cavity. Like it's a different area that it hits you. Yeah, I'm surprised you don't like it. I love it. I don't think I can have it anymore, but I don't think it's in my nutrition group. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever looked at the horseradish sauce to see if it has sugar and or dairy in it. I love just touching it there and then it just clears you like because it's right in the middle of your I can't even point there it's like right there. In your sinus cavity? Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's your commercial. All oh, right. He's being looked at. What did you want me to do? We did a question thing, an answer thing. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, Thor, here, here is, it is the Thor. answer to your question. Your Wednesday night dynamite leading up to a pay-per-view. If you were in charge of AEW, how would you run a Wednesday night show, set up matches and stuff? Match one would be Darby Allen versus Jimmy Havoc. With Havoc winning, and then he'll have an interview with Tony, Sh Tony Schiavone afterwards. Okay, then the next match is Ali versus Brandy Rhodes. And Brandy Rhodes... Um, will be down there, and then Awesome Kong will interfere. Then, with that interference, Nyla Rose will come out and help Ali. But Ali will lose, and Brandy will win. Right, which sets up at the pay-per-view Awesome Kong and Rose. Nyla Rose. And, and Ali. Ali and, and Brandy. Okay. And then the next match would be the Young Bucks versus the Lucha Brothers. So before they even get down, get started, this... Uh, uh, Santana and Ortiz interfere immediately, um, and then it turns into a triple threat um, tag team match with Santana and Ortiz winning. Turn your head, buddy. <laughs> the, the fourth match is Hangman Page versus Jake Hagar, and I don't know if you said who wins that one. I didn't. I okay. Did, I guess I didn't go anywhere with that one either. No. Anyways. You just have Jericho probably come down and interfere in that one, you know, and then it sets up Hagar Kay. and and him again at the next match. All right, and then for the main event, you would have the new guy Wardlow versus Pac. Um, but to set up Wardlow against Moxley. Yeah, because Moxley comes out to beat up Wardlow, and then Pac wins by the disqualification. Right. And then to set up the pay-per-view. Yes. Where Wardlow there beats Moxley. Yes. And we're back. With some text. Yes. And then after, if they have another commercial at all, we will watch his um, video. His practice. So that, yeah, so that we can tell him how wonderful he's done in person. What if it's not <laughs> wonderful? Oh, rude. Well, I'm just saying. I don't want to lie. Do you lay on your back like that and pose? I do all the time. Not you. I'm talking about the wrestler in the group. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking to me all Jobby the time. Do you want me to get on you and blow kisses? I don't want you elbowing me, no. <laughs> all right, Son Sammy Guevara's got Frank Kazarian in a headlock. <laughs> I was 
just answering your question. What question? <laughs> you did that. Oh, I know you do it. <laughs> I totally do. You I do it at work too. Argus running on you. <laughs> Why are you on the ground? <laughs> oh. oh, ouch. That had to have hurt. The moon saw, but he landed on his ankle all wrong. Yeah. And the guy moved. And he was up there pretty high. So and we got a 619 over on a NXT. Yeah. Little backdrop. Eo Shirai's beating the crap out of Mia Yim right now. Oh, there's the quick tag. Scorpio Sky's in. Oh, clothesline. Oh, and missed it. He missed that one. Dropped oh. it. Oh, no. Elbow to the oh. face. Right? That was a jump Just elbow a to the face. Back elbow, yeah. Oh, and then he kicked him. And he kicked him again. Then he threw him in the ropes. And then he kicked him in the face with his <laughs> both heads. He's like, both I'll heads. double kick you. <laughs> both heads. <laughs> both feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm double kicking you. <laughs> I was talking to myself on the way home last night because I was telling you about how I, just, I was like, this is stupid. <laughs> and all this stuff. And I was like, if I had to do this by myself, I was like, they'd just be like, Ugh, so this guy is like over there doing something to this other guy. And he's like got him in some kind of weird hold thing. He's like lifting up his leg. And then he's like breathing weird. <laughs> and he's over there picking his butt. Why do they wear outfits like this if they have to oh. pick their butts all the time? <laughs> As I'm driving home, I was like, You're doing play life play. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> he's got him in it. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but he's it's got a RKO him in it. over the top rope. <laughs> One, two, oh. oh he kicked oh. out of it. Barely. Ugh. I don't think he's long for this world. He's going to die. He's going to die right here on TV. God, that's just Probably oh, not Jericho a good comes thing. in and just slaps him across the face. <laughs> well, isn't that how it's supposed to work? I'm going to slap old people across the slap. face. I just want to walk into work to slap people across the face. Be like, I'm at work. <laughs> I'll be in my office. <laughs> oh, no. Nope. <clears throat> nope. And nope, uh, nope, Thor's nope. letting us know there's an awesome ladder oh, match happening on the other side with the girls. Uh, oh, those girls over there. Yeah. Oh, it's because they're after a thingy. That's yeah, it's why. a ladder match. It's the, the winner gets to get the first person out in the war games. Because war games, you don't just start with all your players in there. They come out. Oh, I see. And then if you get that, then that's your that, Then that's you your get thing. the first, second person. That's good. So one-on-one -on -one at first, and then somebody gets the second person, and every two minutes, somebody else comes out. Right. Can you not be back there? Are you really just going to walk in circles? Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, just mind my own business. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> We well, came that way because I have this shut, and I think so. He went that way, and then it was open, so he's like, <laughs> "Where's that thing?" <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. Just reminds me of the guy that happy to get worse. Jackass. <laughs> One, two. He ain't pinning Chris Jericho. Eo Shirai. Eo Shirai is like, "You're not getting that stupid thing. Get in that ladder. I'm gonna kick you." Look, she's, I'm going to kick the ladder down on you. She's like, this is the second sandwich Smack. you've been in in this week. Smack. Oh, she broke she the ladder. She busted the ladder. <laughs> Hopefully they have another one. You know, Shri just broke that ladder. She's like, ha, 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 ha. You know ha. how well made those uh, aluminum ladders are. <laughs> that ladder's like 75 bucks at Walmart. <laughs> or not at Walmart, Home Depot. Whatever. That those one's probably ones? way more expensive Oh, no, those black. are really, oh, they probably painted. <laughs> I'm kidding. A rattle can. <laughs> Actually, they probably had it professionally painted. They do have another one. I would hope they have another one. She's Maybe. like, I broke that ladder. <laughs> Triple H is going to be so mad Ooh, Chris Jericho almost had it. So, yeah, you're saying that the SC is going to retain the That's stuff. a small package. And he bit it. And he, he did beat, it. Beat Chris Jericho. So, it just happened. With the well, small with package. The, with, with 30 seconds to spare. <laughs> how do you know how much time's left? Because I'm really good at it. Is there really a second timer on that? No. <laughs> when I looked at my watch, it was literally... 30 seconds? Yeah, see? Nice! <laughs> awesome! I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> With 30 seconds to spare, Chris Jericho just got rolled up in a tight little roll-up. 
She's a witch. And he is not happy. He's very, very upset. Oh my gosh, he's so oh, no. upset that he's throwing furniture. chairs he's and throwing furniture. He's throwing furniture around. That was a ring bell. Chairs what the, the hell thing. is thing. Was that the that's part of the barricade. But it wasn't. It okay, was, but then right. there was another one there. I know. He's like, I'm just taking this. He's oh. like having a meltdown. Oh, he's beating Chris up TNT. Chris Jericho is having a tantrum like a little kid. He's literally having a tantrum. This is awesome. <laughs> All right. AEW is over. All right. We're going full screen. With NXT for the ladder match that's happening between Io Shirai and Mia Yim. And Thor is saying this is an awesome ladder match and this is setting up a bright future for the one women. Yeah. Oh, oh God, that hit her right in the face. I hope that was how it was supposed oh, to no. be. Oh, no. Watch, she kicks the top of it. See, she's supposed to kick the <sighs> middle of it. Oops. And she's probably opened. All right, where's that match? What? What? On your phone. We should watch that match. Oh. My Soraya. She's not concerned with her opponent. She's like, I'm taking my time. Well, she's got to get the ladder set up. She doesn't want to break another one. Hopefully she doesn't walk under it. She could have bad luck the rest of the night. I can take my phone. No. Oh. Man, there's his stunner. <laughs> Rolls out of it, kicks him in the stomach. Oh. Kick out. It's a two count. Oh. Yeah, oh, he's going, going Groco Roman. Yo, try. Get her, lock get up. Armbar. Oh, God, look at him bend his hand backwards. Yeah. Pop up. Oh, breaks it. Oh, wait, that's the same thing. I've already seen this once. Oh. So it's just a clip it just replays. Yeah, it just okay. goes over and over. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> They're doing the same moves again. <laughs> right. That's awesome, man. <laughs> so how long did it take you to work out that um, amount of moves? You know, like your move set, I'd call it. I don't know what you call it, but I call it a move set. And headbutt you so you fall off. All right, now go get the briefcase. Uh oh, here she comes. She looks like she's in dirty pants. <laughs> she looks like she's in dirty pants. He says about three or four minutes. That's cool. Yeah, I've always wondered how, uh, how long they, they it takes to put everything together. Right. From start to finish. Do you guys put it together yourselves, or did you have, like, a coach that was kind of helping work with you guys? Because each of you want to get your own things together, right? Like right. Like, your own move sets, and then you got to adapt them. I love the stunner, though. <laughs> That was good. And then he does the Greco-Roman stance, so he like gets down like he's, you know, a mat technician. Uh huh. She's working very slowly at getting this ladder set up again, so she can start crawling up it slowly. She's like, my arm's broken. But Dakota Kai's like, oh, you're God. not gonna get it. How dare you take my friend and punch her in the face they with a ladder? They just don't like the women's matches ending fair. Like, any of the ladder matches in women's history have always had some sort of, like, botch or something. Shit, James Ellsworth won the first ever women's championship, or women's well, money in the Well, they had bank. to do something to help See, Mia she is Yim. Split. Yeah, she's bleeding. Everybody has gloves on. They just were making sure she was okay, that she could continue. Who's this girl? A winner? 
Oh, it's the UK it's the women. It's the UK Shana. lady. I'm like, uh, that's not Shayna Baszler, and that's a belt. Well, she's kind of pretty. Ooh, ouch. Oh, I hope she's okay. Right through a ladder. Oh, busted fuck. it in half. I hope she really is okay now, cause uh, that could have broken something. Women aren't made to go through that stuff. <laughs> She's like, hurry up and get hey, up isn't there, that the girl? Shirai. Never mind, that's not her. I thought that was the girl that was with a member and she had to leave. Like, no. They're like, hey, that's our no, new member. No, she's the yeah, NXT I, No, I know who UK. she is. I just wasn't sure if she was that same girl. <laughs> you got to go up one more ring. Rung. There you go, sweetie. I know it's terrifying out there. But. So you're sure I did it, kind of. <laughs> well, with help? With a little help from my friends. I get by with a little help from my friends. I'm going to try with a little help from my friends. Right. Hopefully Mia Yim's okay. That looked pretty brutal. She has like two weeks to get ready. Well, it was pretty brutal when she got that thrown. That girl's got her nose broken. Whatever. <laughs> She's, like, She's like, my nose is all weird. <laughs> so she gets the first partner down. Mm-hmm. Look at this snap suplex. Oh, no, that's not a snap suplex. That's just a normal suplex. Oh, ouch. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, she missed that. This one, though, busted her open. Probably broke her nose. Possibly. She got her pretty good. <sighs> the adrenaline helped you for a little bit, but she kicked her in the butt. Well, she's getting her away from her, so she Let's can see, move. see, this is worse. Did she did she hit her face on there really good? Oh, yeah. She turned her head. Yeah, but she still hit her head. Yeah, b b b granted, but not as bad Girl, as what this might be looking this. like. <laughs> that hurts. As long as the ladder's set up to break, probably not too bad, but still. <laughs> Thor says that that was ourselves. They didn't have anybody. They said we talked it out and worked it together. That's nice. awesome. Good deal. Hmm. How awesome. That was actually a pretty good little finish. Yeah. Hopefully that uh, other girl, even though she's the worst wrestler I've ever seen in my entire life. Mia Yim. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully she's okay because I don't want to see anybody get hurt doing wrestling. No. <laughs> And, you know, she wasn't that bad in this match, but that match against Shayna Baszler at all, uh, at their uh, Toronto takeover or whatever, mm -hmm. worst match I've ever seen. It was really bad. Uh-oh. She whips her hair back and forth. Hey, talk about the ugly when it comes out. Talk about the ugly, it'll show up. They're on the same tag team now. Are they? Is that our new group of people? Not hers. Oh. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe that's the force. Oh, <laughs> there's Bailey. Bailey. Bailey came out and whacked Shayna with a <laughs> with a chair. Oh, I don't know nice. what mood that was supposed to be, but that's good. I like to see <laughs> Bailey in normal clothes. Oh. oh. <laughs> so the other girl was the good girl then, like the face, huh? I, I would have never guessed. <laughs> She's all G'd up from the feet up. <laughs> uh, That's a special thanks to Full Cell University. Yeah, those people. <laughs> what not? <laughs> Wednesdays and uh, Fridays are nice shows. They're kind of quicker. Yeah. Or Raw kind of can drag a little bit here oh, and there. It totally does. And Anyways, it's a Monday. Right? Thor says, I gotta say, I'm not disappointed. Good match all around. Yeah. And he said, yes, Bailey. <laughs> she looked good, too. <laughs> yeah. Coming out and Street smacking clothes. Shayna Baszler in the back with a chair. Oh. She should have hit her again with it a couple times. I, well, she made her head go right down into the belt. Well, she should have hit her a couple more times in the face, maybe, and help her face some. She didn't bring the ugly stick with her. <laughs> she's already been beat with the ugly stick. <laughs> <laughs> but she's a good wrestler, right? Yeah. Like, that's a rumor. The only match I've ever seen Shayna Baszler wrestler in was against the girl that just got thrown through that ladder, and mm -hmm. it was the worst women's match I've ever seen. It was an NXT TakeOver Toronto, the one that they had during Survivor, nope, uh, SummerSlam weekend. If you haven't seen it, you could watch it. Oh. Look it up, but 
you will see why I'm not impressed with either one of those two women. <laughs> and it won't take long. You can probably watch that match for about two minutes and be like, what is going on? It was terrible. It was like a wrestling practice, but... They had gone wrong. They, I mean, they <laughs> stood there. They didn't know what they were doing. They're like, do you want to go up? <laughs> no, I'll go up. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, seriously, it was bad. <laughs> and it's, I know, and it's not because they have, like, can't talk yes, to each Monday other, Yes, Monday is though. a little raw. <laughs> yeah. His play on words there. Hmm. <laughs> All right, man. I'm glad that you sent us that. Well, you didn't send us that video, but I'm glad that you post that. But did you like yeah, that? Yeah, I did. Okay, I good. hearted it and put a comment on it. Totally. Yeah, that was awesome. That is I so totally awesome. Did. I mean, that's like, I wish I could have done that stuff when I was younger. <laughs> I'm all jelly. Jelly, but jelly. Anyways, you have a good night, boss. All and right. Anyways, everybody, thank you for watching Wrestling Gab, and we'll see you on Friday night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.